low. I know a lot of you out there don't know me, and you all have your own story to tell. For my own self, let me just say, my name is Magellan Francisco Diamante. And I've got a long story, a lot of history, a long road. Believe me, there's a lot of water underneath the bridge. So as it happens, synchronistically, I come across a new chapter, The Fun Machine. But I have a strange feeling. I wonder where this fun machine has been, and if there's another story behind it, and if there's another individual out there who's somewhat like me. But who knows? A man can only wonder. All I know is this is my story. grow up knowing nothing. You are introduced to a world brought up by generations who also know nothing, completely unaware of their existence and having been brought up just the same as you. The elder generations live robotically, take the world for a spin a few times, mess it up, and hand us the keys. Here you go, kid. It's not that we don't know, but we consciously choose not to see. Victims and slaves to our own and collective miasms. Thus we fail to realize that life is beautiful and deity is all around us. Each generation more promising than the one before, given new opportunities for a brighter future, inherits the traits of the past and carries the cross of choices of the elders. We fail to learn from our own mistakes and in not realizing our own shortcomings to learn from make the biggest error of all. Move forward. The tide of time is turning. When will come the day of terminal velocity? When the elder generation's time is no more and our reign rules the world. When our choices have caught up with us to make us who we are. Will we raise the younger generation the same way as our elders before us? 
and hand them our burdens and lead them not to realize they are yet again to inherit the same bad traits. Life is beautiful. It is all around you and difficult often for spiritual growth. To go through darkness, to go through light, to master it all, and to be able to handle the weight of reality, to seek discernment, to find truth in a world of illusions and deceit, to live simply, be calm, free, such is enlightenment. Now is forever, and forever is now. If you have a goal, follow through. Realize your power. You can always choose it. In 50 years, how will you look back on your life? Fear is a good thing and put in place to show us what is meant to be overcome. Open yourself up and realize the world is a big place and there is much more to life than what one sees with their own two eyes. To know something you must know you know nothing. Empty your cup. This is the all. And yet, in spite of all the blood and strife and perpetual turmoil of humanity, we are still here. Why? Love. Love is the ultimate goal the goal of the universe is harmony. The goal of humanity, that which proves to keep us together in adversity and proves stronger in the end, is love. Yang and yin, yin and yang. To find our soulmate, love for oneself, love for another. Love for the all. To say, I love you, is the most beautiful thing and the highest honor. At any time, any place, any moment, to be comfortable, to feel at peace, at home, to be truly happy, still, calm, serene. Feel your spirit. We are not merely flesh and blood. We all, living things, are ethereal beings. Look deep down inside yourself and remember who you are. And it is this which makes us demigods, one with and whole within existence. The greater part of the all, that which is vast and great as the universe and as small as a single microbiological cell in our bodies. This is Pantheos. It's funny how it all comes full circle.